Hello everyone, I'm RecV5. And I am Sandman99. Merry Christmas and welcome back to Madden NFL 2004 Santa's Elves franchise. Yes, and last week we pulled out a squeaker in overtime. <laughs> Tw 20 to 17 over the male barnyard poultry type birds. Yeah, but you may have got us there, but you also won it for us too. Yeah, I, I put us in a big hole in the first half. I... Uh, Decided to try for a touchdown with five seconds left in the half and no timeouts instead of just kicking the field goal. And, uh, of course, I didn't get in. And uh, then I threw an interception in our own end of the field late in the game. We were down 17-10 with two minutes to play. And then you made the heroic two-minute drive. I managed to make the heroic two-minute drive to tie the game, and then we had to kick a field goal in overtime. So, Wow. That one was uh, pretty rough, but it looks like uh, actually uh, week six is our bye week. So I guess we'll simulate the week. And it'll be week seven. Yeah. And then going into week seven, we are up against the Denver Horses. And uh, wow, if anything, they look like they're even stronger than the than Atlanta was. Yeah, they're like another uh, strong their, D their, team. Their, their overall rating is actually a, a couple of points higher than theirs, than Atlanta's, so... Wow. Yeah, looks like they've got pretty good running backs. Uh, they've got so-so wide receivers. Uh, very good linebackers and defensive backs, so... Yeah. As though this may be a very challenging game again. Yep. I was tinkering a little bit again, though, after the last game. Oh? This, this morning, yep. Yeah. Uh, trying to figure out a way to be able to, uh, you know, like have a little more success passing the ball without it being knocked down at the line all the time. Yep. And also trying to develop plays where maybe I threw a, a little bit less interceptions. But anyway, as, as always, these things are getting a uh, field test in actual game conditions, so I have no idea whether any of my adjustments are going to work or not. Yeah, it's been quite uh, the the uh, uh, challenge getting a video out every day, eh? Yeah, there isn't very much time to prepare, and because normally what I would do is if I was going to make adjustments to my playbook is I would play a couple of test games in a side league just to see how things worked, right? Yep. But unfortunately... Just haven't had the time to do that. Wow, it's these guys are one and five. Who have they been playing? To bring you another exciting game. <laughs> all Madden teams? I don't know. And it's been a great year so far. Maybe they played like every the All Madden team in the league. Today, yeah. Oh, we're here in the North Pole, the and the temperature out is zero degrees again. The home team. It's always zero degrees. Yeah. And John Madden here to broadcast this one, brought to you by EA Sports. There's the lots of uh, red, festive red and green you out there in the stands, though. <laughs> yep. This guy has all the tools you look for. Great arm, pocket presence, and the ability to hit a receiver anywhere on the field. There's not too many like this guy. And we could see him put up big numbers in this one. The home team. Yeah, and so far this guy is the leading wide receiver in most and wide receiver statistics in the league. He yep. <laughs> he's because, the guy you throw to. Because he's the guy I throw to almost all the time. Literally. So that's one of what I did with some of my adjustments too, is I was trying to uh, develop plays where he isn't the only guy that I throw the ball to, right? Yep. Because... Uh, <clears throat> oh, wow, look at that. The 14 mile an hour wind. Looks like uh, they won the toss and elected to do something. But I'm going to defend with a 14 mile an hour wind at our backs. Kickoff, so let's go to so the not only is it zero degrees, action. but it's windy. It must be really cold out there. Perfect football weather for Santa Claus. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea how uh, Denver's going to play this. <coughs> oh, well. See, some of these teams play better with the uh, custom team type of thing. Some of these teams play the same, and some of them play way worse, either because uh, they end up with a, uh, a custom team that doesn't suit them, or because they like relied on a specific player to make their offense work. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. All I know is that Atlanta last week appeared to be playing, like, well above their rating. 
Yeah, they're a pretty stiff team. Yeah. <clears throat> because uh, we actually played back-to-back -back all Madden teams in the first two weeks. And uh, while they were tough games, they were not as tough as that. Yeah, and one of them was uh, Arizona, too. And yep. Arizona's always tough in these games. Yeah, well, they have sort of a tradition of, uh, you know, like, like at least back then, back in the old days anyway, they had a tradition of, uh, of uh, playing tough defense. But uh, having dif you know, like having difficulty being more than just a competitive team in the division because they often didn't have the offense to go along with it, right? Well, I think it's going to be another day of backed up corners. Yeah, they've got some speed out there, do they? They've even got a slightly fast tight end. Ooh. It looks like their running backs are nightmares. I don't understand how they can be only be rated 83 at running back. With a yeah. guy like this starting for them. Yeah. I don't understand how he's only rated well, 88. I think it is an average of the overall ratings of all all of the players at that position. And the other two guys are like low 70s, right? Yeah. So they probably pull the, the overall the score the down a little. Well, I'm just going to kick this down the middle as far as I can. I'm going to see if I can get it through the uprights here. There we are at 5-0. and oh. oh no, you picked the wrong side. Oh, did I pick the wrong... Oh, damn, how did I... <laughs> I guess we'll be looking for an extra field goal in the second oh, half. Oh, look at that. See that? <laughs> From the four. Actually, you know what? Kickoff middle might be the way to go with this. It seemed like I was having trouble covering the uh, kickoffs to one side or the other, right? Yep. Maybe it would be better to just kick it down the middle and that way... Uh, they can't, the you know, if they try to run side. to one side or the other, at least we can track them down. Oh, there's Mr. Grumpy. Yep. Snake the tackle out there. Corner. He's still hurting. He has an ankle injury, and it appears he'll be missing for a while. We have an injury on our team? Is that what he's talking about? I don't think we have an injury. I think they have an injury. Oh. I mean, we have an injury. It doesn't really matter. All of our guys are super slow. Yeah. Well, there you go. You're there plugging the middle up. You don't get as much glory at nose tackle in this game, right? No. The, uh, the defensive line um, controls and stuff don't work as well as they do in Madden 05. Yeah, they're a lot more difficult. Ah. Well, apparently we're tough against the run now after last week. Well, the thing is, though, if you uh, line up with your defense shifted to the side that they are, they appear to be leaning toward on the run, then if they run to the weak side, well, they're running to their weak side too, right? So it kind of all evens out a bit. This one goes out of bounds. They're ready to call their first. Well, it's in your hands now. Yeah. Well, here we go. First and ten here. Ball on their own twenty-five. Wow, three-three nickel right away. Looks like he's changing the play. I guess they must be expecting you to pass or something. Well, I don't know. I mean, if they're going to give me that kind of invitation to run up the middle, I'm going to just do that. Uh, well, let's see here. 46 defense in this time. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. Jones, the man in motion. Under pressure. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I had to hot potato it out of there because they were coming from both sides wide. Yep. And, uh, you know, like what I've been doing, at least in practice mode, is I've been trying to figure out Third and seven. Uh, how to watch the pass rush and maybe, uh, like, if they're only coming from one side, try and scramble away from them a little bit. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Ooh, Number one. See something in the defense. Vulture. In motion. It's a blitz. With the pass, comes up with it. They'll move go the Jones. That completion. Jones and won't that let that corner throw him around. Knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. 
Yeah, let's see what I'm doing here is I'm watching the pass rush and you see how that guy's coming around wide, except that he got bumped. Right, that tight end I moved in there, bumped him and kind of steered him back in. But you see how I was sort of fading to my left a little bit? Yep. And that's because I'm trying to figure out how to throw these short passes over the middle without them all being batted down by jumping defensive linemen all the time, back right? Back to the game. So yeah, I'm, if only you could throw the goddamn ball underhand. Yeah, so what, what, <laughs> what I'm trying to do really is uh, I'm trying to, uh, I guess, create passing lanes for myself. Yep. Wow, I could not take advantage of that. Nowhere to go that time. The well, at least you didn't lose anything. Very good yeah. penetration. This line's very aggressive up front. They like to stunt and use power moves to get into the backfield. A lot of teams think that the best way to move the ball on the ground against them is to run it right at them. Try and wear them out. Looks like they might be trying to do that same kind of thing. Well, we'll try our luck with this and see if we can get anywhere here. Drops back, throwing short to the right side. Uh, the first guy missed me. He actually overran the play. He was going after it so uh, aggressively. Eh? Yep. I think that was an attempted pick. <laughs> yeah, well, I sort of went back to the hitch thing because uh, it's harder to intercept those passes, right? Taylor comes in motion. Surveying the field with the pass. There. <laughs> there you go. Watch it here. This is a great See, the big thing, thing, thing about this is that I managed to uh, hang on to the ball long enough to make this guy here turn his back. Yep. And he's a linebacker too, right? Like he's like it looks like, like they're playing some, some kind of forty six here. Right, but they've got like they have quite a few uh, things. Like they'll have the cornerbacks and the safety in the middle play deep zones, three of them, and then they have a lot of linebacker man coverage underneath. Right, and welcome which is you know like pretty good against some things, but not so good against others. Right. Yep. Looks like he's changing the play. Then again, on third down and long, maybe 46 was not necessarily the uh, appropriate defensive call either. Ooh, I found a little room up the middle that time. What you mean having the uh, 10 men on the line isn't the appropriate defensive call <laughs> on third down and long? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. These uh, 46 playing teams, there's only a few of them in the league, but the ones that do, do play it in like the weirdest times. Yeah. Well, I noticed, I don't know if they do it in actual game mode, but they, they do some really weird, um, almost kind of like manual things in uh, practice mode. Like, if I line up in, in a, a screen formation like this, then, uh, you know, like they'll migrate a bunch of guys out toward the edge, right, to compensate. Yep. But then you see things like when this play starts, you see how that guy moved down there? Number one. See something when the play starts, you'll see uh, a linebacker or somebody crossing the field from one side to the other. That's what bringing a blitz will do. It'll force you to make the throw before you And uh, you know, like they're, it's like they have a zone defender who uh, uh, suddenly, uh, you know, starts running sideways across the field from one side to the other completely again. Right? Yep. It's really weird. Fulcher, the man in motion. Gets the pass on. There, see, <laughs> see what I mean? Like I threw that on time just as he was turning around. Right? Yep. Like basically I needed just another half a second to throw that and I just didn't have it, right? And what happens is I throw it just as he turns around and for some reason in this game, like normally that's a good way to throw that pass, right? Like in Madden 05, you can throw that pass this way all the time, all day long. But in this game, basically, he has to turn around and plant both feet and face you before you can throw him the ball. Yeah, the only way you can get around that is I was experimenting in practice mode. 
If you throw it like that, then you also have to take control of that guy and make him catch it manually. Yeah. Which is kind of dumb, but that's how it works. Yeah, well, it's almost like it's they, they, they've decided for some reason that maybe uh, it was a little too easy to throw uh, short curls or something, so they did something to nerf it a little bit, right? Either that or maybe they fixed short curls in Madden 05. Oh, look at that. I managed to escape. I managed to throw the, the little short pass there and then turn around the right way and escape, eh? We're in a tough spot here. So this is a heck of a throw and catch. See that? He overran the play, but he went the wrong way. <laughs> Using motion. Get the call again. Nah, I can't run fast enough to get away from that guy. He's pretty fast for a defensive lineman. Yep. <laughs> Funny. About eight yards. Ball on the nine yard line. Yeah, I think their tackles are probably the weak ones, right? If they've got a good defensive end and their average offensive line rating is only, or defensive line rating is only eighty one. Yeah. Then probably their defensive tackles are the weak link. Dropping back, closing in, gets rid of it, and the catch is made. Now sometimes they just give that one up though, and it's just as much of a give up in this game as it is in Madden 05. Yeah, but the big difference is they only usually uh, give that gives me that one maybe two or three times a game in this version of Madden, right? Yeah, not like every play. Yeah, like in Madden 05, I make a living pay throwing that pass. Like I throw that pass probably a dozen or more times a game, right? Yep. Oh, I'm just out of habit. I went kick off left. Damn it. Audible A. Audible A? Okay. Yeah, because I think I'm going to try kicking it right down the middle here and just see if I uh, do any better at coverage. He got all of that. From the five. There, you see that? They seem to be able to pursue and uh, and track these guys down a little bit better, right? Because the, the guys running down the sideline seem to hold their lanes long enough to provide containment, right? Whereas in the middle, it's almost like there's sort of a, a void in the middle. You know, like I noticed that he can run straight up the middle and gain a few more yards, right? I had some good blocking going on over there. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Second and four. Ball on their own 32. You got it. That was a weak side toss too, right? Yep. Yeah, like they tossed it to the to your weak side. Using motion. Drops back. Pressure. Gets rid of it. With the catch. A lot of space in front of him. Can't draw it up any better than that. Now that's that, that uh, flat zone down. guy uh, backing off away from the play, right? Yep. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a weakness of how the, the defenses in this game work, right? If they're really bound and determined to uh, throw flat passes, then uh, they'll they'll put they'll bring out a big set like this so that there's no wide receiver on the right, and then they'll try to throw the flat pass to the right because they know, or in this case, to the left now because they know that uh, a flat defender out on that side is going to back up because there's no wide receiver out there. And I don't know why that is, but, you know. <clears throat> I think in Madden 05, what they must have done is they must have made the flat zone receivers watch the uh, offensive backfield a little bit more, maybe. So that if a running back, the weak side run, right? I think these guys, you're going to have to defend them much the same way as you did the last opponents, right? Otherwise, they'll run around your weak side all day. Nope, nope. Hot, hot potato, potato. yeah. Broken, a broken pass rope. So yeah, they can throw those, and they'll catch them more often than not, but you can't throw a curl right on the break, or he'll never catch it. Like, that makes no sense. Yeah, I think it's just a flaw in the curl rope. 
Yeah, because in, at least in that curl route, the guy's actually looking back toward you when you throw the ball, right? Yeah, you're hitting like him in the chest. He should be able to see it coming all the way, whereas a guy running a, a long streak down the down the field who turns around miraculously six or seven yards downfield because he somehow knows the ball's coming, and then he catches it. Like, how does that work? Well, he wasn't going to get a first down off of that one anyway. Even if he did catch it. It's very hard to convert well, they picked up a couple yards here, but I did manage to stop them the before they crossed right, midfield. Mm -hmm. to punt. Here's the kick. Oh, Santa Claus. Oh, well, at least it bounced into the end zone. <laughs> when the, With that strong of a wind behind them, uh, I think that... Uh, that... Uh, they, it, they outkick the coverage so those guys can't get down there and, and bat the ball away, right? Yep. Or 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 bat it back into play or down it or whatever. Uh-oh. Could have had an opportunity to uh, uh, return that, though. Yeah, maybe. But <clears throat> that's another thing, too, that I'm going to do, right? If you watch this, like I was watching over here and I saw they were playing like a flat zone with the corner there. Mm -hmm. and I didn't have an adjustment but look at where the pass rush is coming from and this guy's pretty much contained right so I've decided I'm going to kind of watch the pass rush a little bit and if I have an opportunity to do this kind of thing I'm going to do it right well you've got a quarterback that can yeah I mean if I had Michael Vick on my team I'd do the same thing right <laughs> no you got someone better than Michael Vick yeah well <laughs> I, can, I can run like Michael Second Vick anyway coming up. yeah and then you can truck people nine. like a fullback <clears throat> you can truck people like uh, William Refrigerator Perry. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, they like to use a lot of those lopsided pass rushes where they can just basically bring four guys. And, uh, and off to the tail you know, that defensive end just runs right around the tackle, but they usually only do it on one side at a time. So if you're paying attention, then... Uh, you know, like sometimes you can just roll to the right and get away, right? Yep. Even if it's even if you end up ultimately just throwing a pass, because in practice mode I was trying that with Brett Farb, who uh, isn't exactly the most mobile guy in the world, and I wasn't scrambling with him, but I was at least like kind of rolling out and uh, buying myself some more time to throw the ball to somebody, right? Yep. <clears throat> and it works even with him. And it seems to help. This, with the situation where uh, they're jumping up and batting the ball down because then you get out I know it's sometimes bad to throw the ball from outside the pocket but uh, Looks like he's when you do him. get outside like that you get out of those rush lanes and then uh, it's harder for them to just jump up and bat the ball down when you throw it too right number 37 breaking through Okay, got some good blocking over there. You know, that defensive end did a perfect job, except for where he misread the play and cut to the inside instead of the outside. That may have been an assignment too, right? Because they do have a lot of uh, very specific pre-assigned uh, rush uh, assignments, right? Yeah, they actually have the rush assignments drawn so that they attack certain gaps. Yeah. And but uh, that was what made that run play work, because if he'd cut to the outside, you were done, but he cut to the inside. Yeah, oh, not going to get much there, because I guess they must have been pinching there, because there was no room. It's just the way that they were aligned there, right? Like, if you look at the way they're aligned... It's very wide. It's very wide, like the defensive ends are lined up outside the tackles, right? And so I was assuming if they were going to... The reason I was going to run this play is because I was assuming that if they were going to loop around wide like that, that I'd have room, but they didn't do that, right? Yeah, instead they pinched and filled that area with a linebacker. Yeah, and uh, what happened is number 74 there, he he got on his guy, but his, obviously that player is stronger than him too, right? Yep. And between the two of them, the defensive end and the defensive tackle, they just, they just closed that gap up and I couldn't go through it. Back to the field. <clears throat> but that's the difference between this and Madden 05 too, is that uh, you know they they play pretty good run defense here. But, but it's, but it's, it's nothing not, like the. But uh, it's not ridiculous. Like you don't have uh, guys jumping through the line unblocked and stuff like that, right? Yeah, you you don't have your quarterback getting hit in the backfield. We always come back to that. 
Because I guess it's such an iconic ah. thing of Madden 05, right? I, I looked too long before I called the audible. Ah. Uh. that play every day. Obviously, that guy needed to show more discipline than that out there. It's now second and 15 after the penalty. Under pressure, throws it. Well, I didn't even have a chance to watch there. I saw those guys coming like that, and all I could do was backpedal and get rid of it. Third down and a long coming up here. Well, using motion, surveying the field with the oh, that cornerback was playing back deeper, right? You see that? Yeah, because oh, that, that was the safety that came down to the to the flat zone, and then you know he he must be pretty fast to be able to get up there and and uh, you know get a play on that because I thought I had enough room to get there. You know, these, these teams usually have, like, a couple of really good defensive players. So, like, for these guys, it seems like it's going to be their defensive end and their safety, probably, right? Yeah. Whereas last time, it was the linebacker. Remember how much trouble the linebacker gave you? Yeah. The previous game? <coughs> well, that's a touchback. <laughs> All right. Only one man in the backfield. Loosening up the coverage on the outside. Man in motion. Onari read that play perfectly. <laughs> he didn't read that play. He was just pass rushing on that side. He was just following his assignment. Yeah. Second and long. Ball on their own 17. See, rushing towards the uh, inside. Smith gets set. Going to the left. See, it's lucky that you shifted that way when you did because they were going to run that toss to your weak side of your defense again, right? Yep. <laughs> Guy ended up taking control of the defensive end, too, because I couldn't get Pittman over there in time. Yeah. Throws it. Oh, nice play. <laughs> That's Mr. Right, Grumpy. Number 45. He jumps up there and bats the pass away. He his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. Can you imagine that? He's sitting in his hotel room watching the game, and he's like, why do they call me Grumpy? Yeah. I'm not really Grumpy. I just look that way. <laughs> yeah, I think I could have returned that one. I actually got some blocking. Yeah, I know. It didn't look like you had anything there. And then all of a sudden, uh, that that uh, blocker th you know, like got locked up with that guy. And then just kind of out of nowhere. Okay, I'm yeah, going to change my mind now that I'm not going to call an audible. It's one of those things that you just got to practice. You got to practice the punt return game, the special teams game in this game, because... That's a skill that we're both sorely lacking in. Yeah, I guess so, hey? Yeah, because it just didn't exist in uh, Madden 05. Yeah, I know, uh, for me, the, the punt return game in Mad you know, in uh, all these years in Madden 05 was basically just, uh, uh... Fair catch middle? Yeah, call a fair catch and, uh, and then start the, the play from... Hand it off. Oh, I ran my blockers there. I had a wall of blockers in front of me. I just screwed up. <laughs> well, you still got some yards. Yeah. Oh, dear. Changing the play now. Hmm. With the throw... Nice catch. Yeah. Hey, that was a heck of a call. I mean, they saw the pressure was coming. They knew right where to go with the ball. And then he got it there. Oh, 3-3 three, three nickel again. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are a 3-3 three, three nickel team. They play the pass a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh oh. Oh. At the 26, number 37. Couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running plays. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency, but they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. Drops back, closing in. He's looking, gets the pass off, and the catch. <laughs> they sent everybody from that side and had nobody on the other side. That's what these yeah. receivers are always looking for. A soft coverage. Well, see, I call this the fan pass because these guys go out, like, look, watch how they fan out. You see that? Yep. And uh, this guy's running a post, although he's more usually just a, a distraction rather than anything else. I don't usually throw it to him. I'm looking for either this guy or this guy. Yeah. Right? Very occasionally this guy, but mostly that guy's also a decoy, right? He's, yeah, he he's holds there to, the corner. He's there deep. to run the coverage off a little bit deeper, so I've got room to throw the short pass to one of these two guys. Right? Yeah, the, the defensive back there has to split the difference between them. Yeah. And so I'm able to pick up a few and yards. And go back to the game. <laughs> It's third down and five to go. Well, it looks like we've got some man to man coverage going on here. Jones, the motion man. With the throw, good throw. Easy pass for Jones. Yeah. Well, see, I figured out. With for some reason, when I have the formation on this side, I can twitch this guy so that he steps down to here. And if that guy's playing press coverage and tries to jam him, which he does, well, all of a sudden now he's got nothing but air because this guy faked going outside and then cuts back inside, right? Yep. So that's a that's an anti jam tactic, right? Yeah, because the jam is basically hard coded scripted in this game. Yeah, the jam is a is a uh, a big thing in this game. It's very critical to uh, uh, the AI defense's coverage. Just anyway, I mean, you and I don't use it so much because we're not used to it. Having played Madden 05, where you want to back everybody up all the time. Well, we also got trash players where we also got to back everybody up all the time, anyways. Yeah. Well, oh, going to get a holding penalty. Yep. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, I'm at least for me on defense, I'm so used to playing everybody well off the line that uh, press coverage and jamming receivers just isn't a thing, right? Yep. It'll be further along here after the penalty backs them up. Okay, well, I guess we'll run on first and 18. Still. Wow. <laughs> or not. An opening was brought down very quickly. Hmm. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast Okay, first well, he can explode through that worked hole. okay last time. Let's try it again. <laughs> cut back lane to break free. Look at all that. Oop. Let's go. Come on. Using motion. Dropping back. He surveys the field, slings it out to the left. He hits his receiver. There, that time, see, I threw it to the guy underneath in the middle. Yep. <laughs> Mostly because I saw him happen to be open, right? And I don't think I'm going to get a first down here. I'm just going to play to try and get a little closer and maybe kick a field. Wow, what's that guy doing? Hmm. Number one sends a man in motion, drops back, uh -oh. gets rid of it. I guess I misread that a little bit, but I still got the short pass off anyway. Yep. I just thought maybe I could throw that short pass to him real quick and there'd be nobody there covering him, right? Well, the guy out there was cheating in the inside. <laughs> yeah, the way that corner was leaning, it almost looked like a corner blitz or something, right? Number seven leads the field goal team into the game for the attempt. So this should be ridiculously powerful. Yeah, it'll probably go over the back of the stands there or something. 
Yeah. It went over. <laughs> oh, it almost oh, made almost. it over the net. I'll bet you. I wonder if I angled it a little higher, if I could kick it over the net. I bet you could. <laughs> With a wind like this, I bet you could. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I forgot again. There. Gonna have to get used to doing this now. And the field goal attempt is up. And it's good. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there you go. See, if that was actually worth three, I would have gotten it as a, like that. That would have been three points right there. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. The corners are giving a bit of a cushion. <clears throat> they should make a rule. If you can kick the kickoff through the, through the uprights, it's like a field goal. <laughs> They're going to get a holding penalty the now. Flag down. Yep. That's, That's why that run and play works so well. Yep. And it appears this one will be a hole. When your feet and your body get in the wrong position, that's when you start the hole. He got <laughs> caught right there. So after the penalty, it's now first and 15. The corners playing back. Flings it to the outside. The receiver had to stretch to reach out, get up there, and make the catch. Well, he kind of uh, meandered around back there, but yep. it was going to go right over his head, <laughs> giving some cushion on the outside. Drops back, pressure, pump faking. Oh, look at that! Got a sack. I think that's a Santa Claus sack. Yep, Santa Claus gets the sack. And they'll face a long third down here. Ball on their own 15. With the pass. Ooh, hot potato pass to the running back. <laughs> well, I think there was a guy right there to tackle him anyways. Yeah, he has a pretty low catching rating, actually. I saw, I looked at that before the game yep. started, when you were looking at the players. And his, his catching rating is around 60, so he's not a really a very good receiver anyway. Hey, no Good decision. <laughs> yeah, well, the entire uh, coverage team was in my face, so, you know. Yeah. I was hoping they were going to come out in that 3-3 nickel there on first down like they do sometimes. But, oh, well, this worked out okay anyway. I just keep letting them run it. See, some of the run plays out of the single back big and I formation big are, are really excellent plays, right? But they're they're well drawn and well designed and they work well. Unlike a lot of the running plays in some of the other formations that don't work very well at all. Number one, see something in the defense. Uh oh. That's a face mask. Oh well. Okay. I guess we get a first down on that anyway because the the five yards got us enough to get past the first down marker. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things flying and body parts moving around. You just tackle whatever you can and you grab anything that's moving. Sometimes you get a handful of mask. Directing traffic. Bring that pain, baby. Come on, partner. Set. Jones in motion. Throwing. And the catch is made. He's right there to make the catch again. Is See, that's one of the uh the anti-jam techniques too, because I don't know who's covering him. But uh by the looks of it, they were you know, they didn't have or maybe it was this guy, right? And that's what I meant in practice mode. I saw some really weird behaviors. Right? Like why is this guy suddenly running across the field this way? And I think what happens is they move guys out here, but that guy actually has man coverage on this fellow right here. And then he runs into the ref. Yeah, he, <laughs> ran, he ran into the ref, but I don't think he would have made it in time there anyway, since that was a four-yard curl, right? You know, there really wasn't very much that he was going to do to uh, stop that from being a completion. <laughs> See, and they do some really weird things where they migrate players around. 
Oh, see that? Got the hand up, but I couldn't roll because they were bringing guys from out both sides, right? Yep. Outside. Like, they had both guys there, so all I can't, like, escape one way or the other. I have to just stand in there and throw it. And then, of course... Uh, he took away the passing yeah, lane on you. Yeah, that guy there, just by the move that he made, like, if he'd have swum the other way, maybe, or something, I would have been all right, but... But that's the way it goes sometimes. Interesting thing to note, though, about that play is that the ref is never the last <laughs> man back in this game. Yeah. <laughs> so as they get sent to try to convert, well, here's what both teams have done. It's on because they down. can't crowd third eleven down, guys in the box. Stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You Although now they're going to do it, I think that's a manual audible that they field, just did. Because you, you can't actually audible that. The there, see, I got He's that mismatch this time, right? So I moved the, uh, the, the tight end here over that I had running the post and just gave him a little bit of a move. And then he runs up the field and occupies the coverage over there. And this guy is just running a curl down the middle and the corner goes with him and that leaves this guy all by himself over here. Yep. And uh, luckily, no one, no one was able to bat the pass down at the, at the line. In so spite of the fact that you had like four <coughs> linemen in your face when you threw that. Yeah. You had four linemen in your face when you threw that. Oh yeah, you know what? The, the defensive linemen in this game are very fast and very smart. Right. I wasn't kidding when I told you, you, I don't know how much offense you've played in this game so far Number since we one, picked this set. up again, but I'll tell you that the uh, defensive line is very, very tough. Drops back, slings it to the outside. There we go. They're fast and they're smart, and uh, they seem to know exactly the right moment to jump up to bat down a pass. Uh, they can run around the tackles and get on you right away if you uh, drop back too far. Yep. And even if you stand tight, you know, well, close in the pocket, um, sometimes they can just overwhelm the middle of the uh, offensive line too, right? Yep. Like very, very tough. <clears throat> Let me tell you, when the offense hits a field and sees the end zone that close, their eyes all get big, and you're only thinking one thing, touchdown. So when no. they meet their goal, it's really a great feeling. Okay, well, so I'm, at least was, since I was aiming up. down the middle when I screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> it stayed in play anyway. <laughs> only one man back. I don't think the kicking game is quite as challenging in this one as it is in Madden 05, but it still does have its moments. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. First and ten. Backing off. No pass on first down. Rolling. See, even your guys jump up, right? Yeah. And try and bat the pass down. Like there's there they are, they're smart. Well, and we get it sometimes, although not all the time. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Mohammed goes in motion. Throws it. Incomplete. No catch on that pass play. Rhythm and consistency is one of the most important keys to success when you drop back to pass the ball. But it's hard to find a rhythm and establish some consistency when you're the quarterback and your receivers are dropping passes that should be catched with the pass. Ooh. That might have been an interference call there. Yeah, I think you probably got away with one there. And it's not like that particular penalty slider isn't turned up 15 points over standard, right? Yep, it is turned up. <coughs> so They're all turned up except I guess, for holding. I guess sometimes the uh, referees actually are blind. I mean, I'm sure there's like a certain, like maybe that needs to be turned up a little more. You could probably do like a whole 
like, couple of seasons just spending time tuning the penalty sliders. Yeah. See, watch this. This is what they should have done in Madden 05, right, for defense. Because you see this, everybody engages their, their man at the line. Yep. And, uh, yeah, that guy gets overpowered just at the last second, but look at who's out here to provide containment on this run play, right? That wide corner. That's right. You see, if you play man lock every time and suck those guys into the middle, well, I'm already running around this side and scoring a touchdown probably, right? And welcome back. So two minutes Or at least you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like I, 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 I tend to, if I have successful run games in Madden 05, it tends to be around the outside like that a lot. Because if they don't have the cornerbacks out there for uh, containment, they can't stop you, right? Whereas you have a lot more uh, short to medium length runs like that up the middle in this game, right? First and ten. I think it's a far more realistic running game than it is in Madden 05, to be honest with you. I'd agree. Because the, the results of the play actually look much more realistic. And uh, you don't have that nonsense where you have uh, defensive Drop blocks. Yeah, defensive linemen, you know, like rush right between the guard and the tackle while they run to either side of them. And hit your quarterback and, in yeah. the backfield. Yeah, you know, like you don't have any of that kind of nonsense going on, right? You know, like if they stop this play, it's because like that guy there that made the stop, he was blocked at first, right? Like he was, he was blocked at first, number 76 had him there. And then when I saw this linebacker coming from the outside, I have to turn it back inside. And then that guy eventually manages to, to uh, outplay the guy that he was up against. Yeah, right? and, you're, and he's a d defensive lineman, so you're not going to run him over. No. But you know what I mean, like they're, they, they rely more on good, you know, things like good defensive line play and stuff like that, rather than cheap uh, effects, right? Yep. Jones comes in motion. Pressure coming. Rolling. Oh, <laughs> again. I'm going to have to remember to uh, uh, let the guy turn around and stop. Jones goes dirt. Just keep it on the ground. Well, that's just that's just the way that uh that this uh game is designed, right? Like that's just how this game is built. It does that. If you run a run play here, you could uh either force them to use a timeout or eat up most of the rest of the second quarter. Yeah, well I was looking for a particular pass here. Ball on their own forty eight. And I managed to find it before I ran out of time. Uh-oh. Flat zone. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, it was disguised, right? Because look at what happens here. This guy is... Yeah, it's that safety coming yeah, down. Yeah, it's the safety, actually, that comes down and does that, right? So I'm going to have to make a note of that. Because uh, I could maybe try some... Uh, Shorter routes? Well, or some streaks, streak plays, you know, like in, in the slot. Yep. If they're going to play those kinds of games, right? This will be his second well, punt of I the game. could try and uh, do a coffin corner punt here. Or you could kick it out the back of the end zone. Or I could kick it out the back of the end zone, which is what I basically did there. <laughs> I had the right general idea. I just didn't quite get the, the aim there, I guess. Yeah, it was just a little shank. Passing on first down with the pass, and this pass is completed. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chains. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 34. See, that, that was like an instant 14-yard gain right there, right? Under pressure, gets rid of it. Oh, that time, though, the, you, you outnumbered him there and somebody got in yeah, front of him. he started it. thinking about how he was going to take it back the other way and make a big play for the defense. He just forgot to bring the ball with him. There's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score. Keep throwing and getting out of bounds. He 
Ah, fooled you, they left both of them in. <laughs> well, that's okay. If they leave both of them in, I got more coverage yeah, guys yeah, down really, the field. That's, that's like one less guy to cover, yeah. But I know that's what you're doing, right? You're trying to you're trying to guess which which running back blocks. I usually assume that that they're going to leave the halfback in because if they don't leave him in, then they're going to get in extra trouble. Yeah, because uh, he's not as good of a blocker as the fullback is. So if they send the fullback into the route, he's usually a slower guy. I don't really care if they send him out in the route. Oh, I see. So you're trying to pass rush from the halfback side, right? That's right. Yeah. The coach chooses to punt here the sixth time. Because some of the fullbacks, like some of the best fullbacks in the league, block almost as well as offensive linemen do. Yeah. I don't think this guy's one of them, but it's a general rule of thumb kind of thing. Well, well we get to receive the kickoff, and they're kicking into that really, really brisk wind. They will be. Yeah, so we should get good field position to start the second half here. Indeed. So, we'll take that break that refreshes. Yeah, it's the, it's the halftime stretch, folks. Yeah, and then we'll be right back. And we're back. Ready we'll to back start to the, the second the half. Yep. We're ready to start the second half. And so half far, it's been a fairly good first half of fo football. And this one's a short we got kick. a decent... <laughs> wow, that's a really short kick. I don't think I've ever seen a kickoff that short. <laughs> the home team will start this drive from the... I wasn't able to take advantage of it. Yeah, if you could have hit a gap the right way here, you could have been gone just because of... Uh... So they have first and ten here. Yes, yes, Ooh, they're playing a tight line here. Directing traffic. Pick up of six on and that's why you don't play a tight line. Yeah, well, thing is, though, in Madden 05, they play a tight line like that all the time, right? Because that's just how their 4-3 and their four-man lines are, are are designed. Yeah, it's the default. Yeah. Looks like he's calling an audible. And the wide man line isn't even, like, the spread line isn't even as wide as the default line in this one. Yeah. Number 37. That was the whole reason why I ended up making the nickel wide as a custom formation. Yeah, because you wanted that wide posture. Says that he expects his team to come back and win this game. He knows that his defense had a tough time defending the run in the first half, but he considers that an aberration. Look for some aggressive play calling from them on both sides of the ball. Al? Thanks for that report, Melissa. Well, we're going to run it up the middle here. Looking to run it here. About a three-yard gain for the fullback. Ball at about midfield. Calling an audible now. Looking downfield. Oh, yeah, I hit my other guy, right? <laughs> may have tried to put a little too wow. much I guess maybe throw. I should have waited another second or so before throwing that. Yeah, you hot potatoed it. Yeah, well, I thought I could, though. Denver comes out in their nickel package. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. And what are we third doing here? Are we playing man coverage? Of how well your offense is playing. It means that your offense is making big plays when they need them. Dropping back, throwing. Oh, oh he caught it, but he's a bit short. Now has five this afternoon. So, do you think you can make a sixty-some-odd-yard field goal? Ah, uh, you know what? It never even occurred to me to try. <laughs> hmm. Number seven is looking for a good. I don't know. Field goal kicking and Number kickoffs, 45. I think, are two different things, right? For the punt. Yeah, they're handled two different things in yeah. the game. Oh well. <laughs> I guess I haven't quite got that uh, corner punt thing worked out yet. Nope. But that's okay. The corners playing back.
Yeah, play that run. <laughs> yeah, and he was looking for a place to cut back, but the defenders had all their gaps, and there was yeah, no that was me that came through and made that tackle. Yeah, you got a couple of tackles in this game, mostly from playing the run. Yeah. The yeah, well, I don't think they're going to have, uh, you're, you know, we're going to see too many, uh, you know, like eight or ten sack seasons for defensive tackles in this game because uh, they the just, controls just aren't the same. Well, and not only that, but you can fight your way through eventually, but they usually will have gotten rid of the ball long before you get there, right? Wow, look at that. He juggled that one a bit. Yep. Well, it looked you like know. that might have come out a little low on him. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, in Madden 05, they gave you the ability so to uh, you know, actually beat Listening offensive linemen on in one-on-one -on -one situations, and it's a lot harder to do here. Smith, get set. Man in motion. Come on, Bob. Pressure coming with a deep throw to the right side. Oh. Into the double coverage. Yep, into the double coverage, and he leaps up and catches it. Right. But that's the uh, the wide receiver psychic and sticky hands thing, right? Number 87. The man in motion. Passing on first down. Throws out to the left. Incomplete pass. Well, he might be able to complete it in the double coverage, but he's not going to complete it in the like quadruple coverage. Yeah. Well, I think the big secret too is to have those short pass defenders in a position where they can cut those off, right? Because as that last long pass demonstrated, if you are going to rely on your uh, deep guys to defend the pass, they're going to uh, they're going to complete those. The quarterback put that ball in the receiver perfectly. They'll pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Hits him on the run. Not quite far. Well, all of a sudden now he's on fire. He's completed like four or five passes in a row, eh? It was that halftime break, man. It rigged it. Yeah, I guess so. Eh? Only one man back. The visiting team using motion. Oh, number 79 there moved early. Penalty marker down on the field. Number 79. Was flagged for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. They got nothing. Ain't nothing. Right. Lost by the left. I think I ate up the lead blocker there. Yeah. Well, you at least had enough containment there that he wasn't going to go anywhere on you. When your defensive guys up front control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. Oh, yeah. Those flat defenders do a really good job of stopping those short passes, though, right? Especially those hot potatoes that go to that particular area of the field a lot. Smith comes out, hoping to put points on the scoreboard for the first time. And it's on its way. And wow, <laughs> he almost didn't make it. That's a stiff win. Okay, well, instead of heading up the middle this time, have a look at the sides. Because if he kicks this one off that short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I tried. Their last possession ended in a punt. Looks like he's changing the play. The home team using motion. Well, I'm going to start the play. Oh, 
wow. a little too much on this overthrow. Case, resulting yep. in an overthrow. A little less arm in the ball could have helped. Well, they were still moving people around. I just figured I would just get started, but apparently that did not help. It's second down and ten to go. The ball on their own thirty-four. Closing in. It's rid of it. He hits his receiver. Jones makes another great catch. Another timely reception. Has a total of six catches today. Defense lines up in the nickel. There, you see how they're switching people around all over the place there? Yep. Oh! See, I have that play designed with a four-yard curl because he can run that just a little bit quicker, right? The problem with the eight-yard curl audible is that it takes just long enough to run that route that I feel like I want to throw it a little bit early because the pass rush is coming, right? Yep. But the four-yard curl is quick enough that uh, I can get it away quickly enough and, and he can catch it. Give it to the halfback. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Moves in motion. Pressure gets the pass off. Oh, oh, what was that? That was wildly that was off target. Wildly wild off target. Play, wow. Did you throw yeah, that off your back foot? Open, I don't just... think so. Wow, that was just unbelievable. I stopped, nope. planted my feet. I wasn't even out of the pocket. Wow. Wow. That's just that's back just the, the game field. nerfing that, I think, so that uh, you can't take advantage of weaknesses in the AI, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure that must be what that is. Third down and long. Up <clears throat> I got nerfed. And this is the sixth play of this drive. The home team using motion. Uh-oh. Good coverage team there, creating problems for the quarterback. He's had a tough time making reads when it's time for the 70 yard field goal attempt. Yeah. No, I don't think you want to try a field goal from here because if you miss, you give it back to them in our end of the field, right? Number seven is back to punt. Number 45. And I don't think even a 99 kick power guy is capable of kicking a field goal that long. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm not sure what the outer limit for a field goal is, but I'm pretty sure it's around uh, 60 yards. Yeah, maybe 50, 58, you know, 58 yards or thereabouts, maybe. I think probably 60 in this game. They can kick a little further in this one than they can in Madden 05. Yeah. They never give up on the run in this one. Nope. Well, the game's still close enough that if they uh, stick to their game plan, though, they might be able to do something, right? The corners are backing off. Cowboy. They'd already be abandoning their game plan in 05. Yeah. He, the lone back, using motion. Because what has it, what tends to cause coming, throws it, and some of those, uh, okay, and holding penalty. What tends to cause some of those Madden 05 games to really get out of hand and end up with lopsided oh, so scores is that halfway through the second quarter, if they haven't uh, burned us for a big run, they stop running. That's bad. And then when they, yeah, and then when they start passing, you know, like 90% of the time, sooner or later, that's when uh, you get sacks or you force them to kick the ball away and that kind of thing, right? You know, they can't, they can't move the ball through the air against you in Madden 05 very well. Man in motion. Oh, there's one. Yeah, it's Number Mr. 45, yeah. But I can't get unhooked from my blocker. <clears throat> oh, well, at least you didn't fumble it. Yeah. 
Look at that, though. He's standing there in the middle of the field, and they just threw it right at him. Oh, you right. know why he was standing there in the middle of the field, though? He happened to have man coverage on the fullback who was left in the block. Yeah. Oh, they got 46 bear out there. Is that what this is? See something yeah. in the defense. They give it to the halfback. He can't wrap him up. Ilko makes the tackle. At the Broke 12. a couple of tackles. Picked up decent yardage. Yeah. They had eight guys in the box on that play, but he still broke free. When you bring that many guys. Oh, looks like he, line, Nate Thomas will be okay. Well, that's good because he's an important player on this team. Be able to stop the run. Directing traffic. Well, we, you know what? Considering they had a uh, a pretty wide line there, look at look at how quick they they just filled things up, right? Yeah, it looks like your guard yeah, turned number the block seventy-one got, linebacker, yeah, and and uh, my lead blocking fullback didn't really get anybody either. They were bringing a they were bringing a corner blitz here, right? Kind of makes me wish I was throwing a pass on that play. Huh. And we go back to the game, <laughs> but you'd have to hot potato it to get it away. Yep, pretty much, but what can you do? And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Well, these guys are way worse than the cops in terms of their third down efficiency. I don't think they're as good a team either, though, right? They are higher rated. <laughs> I think it's like you said last time with coaching. It has a lot to do with that. Yeah, I think so. Because they, uh, they're higher rated, but they've lost more games. Well, and not only that, but you can I can tell a difference between uh, these guys and our last opponents too, right? You know, like we're not exactly running wild over them or anything here, but uh, they're nowhere near as tough. They're, they're nowhere near as tough. I mean, it took me an entire game. I had to like score a touchdown with almost no time left on the clock in the fourth quarter to get 17 points in that last game, right? <laughs> so I had to work a lot harder for what I got than I have here so far. But now we're in that uh, running situation here. The running situation? The running situation, yep. Where we're going to run the ball and... Uh, See what we can get. Hands it off. Pick up of about a yard in the run. Well, third and goal from the two. Third down now. And, goal and playing with the lead here, I think I'm just going to pound it up the middle. And if I don't make it, I'll be satisfied with the field goal. Oh, you there. made it. Made it. <laughs> Just give it to the fullback and have him jam it down the middle. That means I get to make one more long kickoff here today. Yep. The kick is up. The point anchor is good. So the drive didn't have a whole lot of yardage involved, but as an offense, your job is to score wherever the drive may start, and that's exactly what they did. As a defense, it's a tough situation when you come out and you realize the offense doesn't have to go very far. I'm sure the next drive they'll come out and want to start. Yeah, you know what? This is a good strategy, especially since I don't seem to be able to work the kicking meter very well. <laughs> well, you, you uh, are having a better time of it in this game than you uh, ever did in uh, Madden 05, at yeah. least. well... I mean, in this game, though, I feel like I, from what I've seen, at least, I can kick the ball down the middle. Oh, oh that guy just skipped around you, and then he hopped over somebody, and wow. The visiting team line up in the shotgun. So we've reached the end of the third That's quarter. That's the end of the, the third quarter. Ahead of the visiting team, 24-3. Gonna jump back. off side there or what? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, come on. Well, this guy. Oh, you managed to get him. 
I hate that they don't die with that guy. Yeah. I had man coverage on everybody there, too. That guy just outran the coverage. You know why I think he did? Because our one guy is a little bit roughed up now. He's yeah. not going to play as well. Maybe. But that's the weakness of the, the, the uh, two deep defense in this game, though, is it in a way it's a it's better against outside passes, but uh, it's also a little bit weaker against passes down the middle, right? Because there's more space in between the safeties. <laughs> but now you don't need to play so much man-to-man. -man. You can just try and... Uh, Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chase. Play some positional zone, right? So they have first and ten here. Get in there. Tosses it out to the right. Good play in the backfield. Big loss there on the tackle. That was a heck of a play. <laughs> he has great speed. Well, that's why we're uh, pass rushing to their tight end side. Yeah. Because we're coming out in a dime every single play. I'm pretty sure most of the linebackers on this team don't get any play time. Yeah. Well, if you'll notice, though, look at that. They left the tight end in that time, and he cut blocked him, and then he just threw another interception. And I got it out over the 20 for you. Number 45 again. Yep. Mr. Grumpy. Yeah. Good job of fighting for that one. Well, that's why you play flat zones, though, right? You keep going there, and sooner or later, you can... See that? They've got three deep and man lock in the middle, right? That's what they're doing here. Number one. See something in the defense. Hand it off to the back. The defense was ready. And it's a pretty uh, solid yeah, run defense, the actually. Maybe the quarterback might have been better off. Well, maybe not so hot against the pass, but. Uh... It's second down and a long way to go. <laughs> Ball on their own 22. Man in motion. Uh oh. That's ah. a huge sack. Big shot on the quarterback. The yeah, quarterback I'm having a hard time here. Under pressure. He needs to find his go to guy if he feels that pressure coming. Oh well. I'm just going to kick it down the field as far as I can and they can just start in their own end of the field again. Yeah, especially with this headwind. Yeah. The punter heads in for the fifth time. Yeah, even into the wind, if this gets a decent bounce, this is going to be a monster punt. <laughs> With no return. Only one man in the backfield. So, it seems like every now and then they, uh, they put some kind of coverage on the field that just confuses me. You know, like I wasn't able to find a guy to throw the ball to there, right? Yep. Wow, he ran over the defensive end there. The ground game can move the ball. When you're behind like this, you need to move down the field quickly and put some points on the board. That type of play just isn't going to get it done. The corners are backing off. Dropping back. With the throw and the well, that guy was wide open. But... The 24. Nice call. That, that would be, a, with the score change. being what it is at this time in the game, that's kind of what you would expect, though, right? You're going to play the big cushion and let them have the short little hook and curl. <clears throat> Loosening up the coverage. Because the those will, will uh, you know, like run out the clock almost as fast as running the ball will, right? Throws it. If they want to throw these short passes Picked like this. Six yards that time. Second and four. Ball on their own 30. Giving some cushion on the outside. <laughs> We're always giving cushion on the outside. The yep. visiting team. Line up in the shotgun. That's out of bounds. No one near that time. Now and the officials agree. Yeah. But you see that, though, they've moved the ball about 20 yards, and it's taken them, like, over two minutes to get 20 yards, right? 
If it takes them a minute to get every 10 yards, well, then this game will be over by the time they get to the goal line, right? Stepping up, throwing. Or another one. He'll throw another interception. Oh, and a face mask. And take a face mask pouch penalty on top of it. Sure. He got way up there to make the pick. I'll tell you, these interceptions are all about timing. And he timed that jump perfectly. Following the interception, it's now first and Is that three that's three interceptions in this game now, right? Eh? Yeah, but they've all been in like this quarter pretty much. Yeah. Changing the play now. I think yeah, now you're starting to see signs of them abandoning their game plan. Yeah. Well, it's getting late enough in the game, though, that it does kind of make sense that they would try and pass downfield a little bit. Look at our time uh, of possession, man. Yeah. But again, that's why you... Uh, Run those flat zones. Well, and that was that was beautiful. You know what they did was pick up a blitz, and when they did that, it opened up a hole, and they ran right through it. Hey, he's got a hundred yards on the ground. Number one sets up. Man in motion. Dropping back. Throws it. Nearly intercepted. Wow. I thought that was, was that guy ever aggressively... Yeah, he look, look at this. See this? This is what I'm talking right about, there. right? Yep. Sometimes in. they do weird things. Like, why is that guy rushing all the way across to defend this guy, right? Because he's got the man coverage on that yeah. guy. Yeah, you, get, you see some really bizarre things like that happen every now and again. It's second down and ten to go. Oh well, Ball we'll get the clock running again line. here. Gets it off again. Gets the call, picks up four, maybe five there. The visiting team come out in a nickel package. Yeah, they didn't have anywhere near as much uh, success running today than uh, the last team did. Yeah. Hand off to the tailback. Well, I'm just going to run the ball and then kick a field goal, I think. It's funny, you know, I don't have a whole lot of passing yardage in this game either, right? Probably because uh, a couple of times when I've gotten sacked, I've lost a substantial amount of yards, too, right? Well, that and bad things happen when you go to the A. Yeah. Booming kick downfield. From the seven yard line. There, that works okay. I think I'm going to do that from now on. It seems to be a little less hectic when it comes to trying to cover those kickoff returns. Just kick it down the middle. Yeah, and then you've got containment on both sides. Yeah. They try the ground attack again. They're running out of time. Wow. The run play sure isn't going to help him score that quick one. Honestly, I'm surprised that they're still doing that. Yeah. Closing in. Rosen jumps and makes the catch. They were able Hot to make potato. it the yeah. first down marker on that. Play. Well, that time, obviously, the, the coverage must have matched up in such a way that you crunch. didn't have a guy in front of him, right? I think I did, but uh, they're all backed off, and he just turned the wrong way. Oh. So it's just terribly played. Oh, I see. Let's get back to the play on the field. But none of the coverage guys in our teams are very good players, so... You know, I don't know. The 50. 
Good execution there, John. Well, <laughs> they're having some success on the ground, but uh, like John says, it's a little late in the game for that now. The corners playing back. Driving back to pass on first down. Makes the adjustment. Pete is the recipient on that one. And again with the flat pass. The yep. I don't, think, I don't think these guys have a very strong passing attack, right? The visiting team. You know, when when we were looking at the players at the beginning of the game, it looked to me like quarterback and wide receivers were not really the strong point on this team. Drops back. Steps up. Gets rid of it. <clears throat> this one falls incomplete. Kind of hard to catch it when you're getting your feet taken out from under you. Yeah, well, there was like five defenders the there, too. I'm surprised he didn't <laughs> he throw another interception. In Maybe that's why he's thrown so many in the last little while. Yeah. And this is the sixth play of this drive. He goes to the there, there's a psychic receiver catch right there. Yep. That's a perfect example of it. Wow. You see that? Receivers are getting open. They're making a catch. Uh, what, did he actually twitched? Like, what is he doing there? He's making a, making a. Is he running a corner route? Is that what that is? I think it's supposed to be a corner route. Yeah. Yeah, it sure does. It looks like it's a corner route, and then his arm does a weird thing, right? Yeah, his his arm does a weird <laughs> thing, and that's wow. how you know that this is going to be a catch. Yeah. But you know what? For for a corner route, though, I mean, you know, like that that was not your typical uh, corner route. That's for sure. No, usually it's, those it's, are it's thrown, extremely shallow. Yeah, those are usually thrown toward the outside too, right? And yep. the receiver doesn't like turn around psychically like that and, and catch them from behind. And catch it from behind them, right? That's just this game, though. <laughs> yeah. Play of this oh, well, three tackles for you today. Unfortunately, I carried him forward there. Oh, well, that's okay. At this point, they're not going to come back anyway, even if they do manage to score here. I actually had to dive to make contact with him there. Yeah. Because we are... Uh, huh. So they've only got three points, but they've managed to pass for 200 yards in this game so far. Right? It just shows you the kind of the kind of thing that this is. He's actually slightly over 50 percent here too. Pressure looks to the end zone. Nearly picked off. Incredulous, he let that one go right through his hands. Yeah, you're not talking about a receiver either. That was about as close as you can get to an interception. He's got to make the play, especially down here in the end zone. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the five. He's got four line. pass deflections. Tightening up the coverage. I think he's also got an interception in this game, right? That player. To throw. Hot potato. Yeah. Number eight is proving again why he's one of the quarterback's favorite targets. That's his fourth reception. Well, they've been coming out passing. Are they going to pass or are They'll they going to run? The formation. From the two yard line here. That is the question. They're running. Stuffed them for a loss on the toss play. And now they're going to go for it. Yeah. Oh, of course they are. But that's okay because uh, it's definitely uh, to your advantage now. Four yards out, it's pretty tough to run from there. No, they're not even going to pretend they're going to run. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think they hit him in the ass there. Yeah, they hit him in the back. I don't think he even turned around for that one. That was so early that... Uh, oh, oh, no, he, he did. did. He did. He tried to turn around for it. But uh, it still hit him in the back. Yeah, what kind of route was that, though? What, what was he doing there? Uh, well, let's take a look. Oh, uh, okay. All right, he's lined so up here. Guess the route. He's running the drag under. That's what he's doing. And that... Because like, basically, I recognize that because I see that a lot in play creation mode. That's a tight end drag. And if this play is run, if you zoom back out behind the offensive line here and behind the quarterback, 
if this play is run the way it's supposed to be run, yep, then he will sort of uh, you know like run a very shallow route across like this, yep, and catch the ball somewhere around here. And said he's right. going to cut up field and uh, yeah. try to catch it behind because him. you you can tell that it's that drag route just because of the angle that he's starting at. Yep, and everything seems to be going well here, but I think well you've got an unblocked defender coming here. Yeah, so he's going to so hot he, potato. So he it. hot potatoes it out, and not only does he throw it behind the guy, like he breaks the route off way early, then he also throws it behind the guy and right at. <laughs> Uh, a close coverage kind of a situation, right? And then hits him in the back with like, it. Like, I have my doubts as to whether he would, even if some by some miracle he caught this, I have my doubts as to whether he would have made it in the end zone anyway because, uh, you know, it looks to me like... Uh, he was outside the, that's, the that's, goal that's a, line. That's a defensive lineman, and that guy just overpowered him and, and, and uh, pushed him backwards anyways, right? Yep. So... But yeah, that's what we mean, folks, by the... Uh, psychic receiver. Psychic receiver. Right, and not only did he know that the ball was thrown, he knew it was thrown off target too, and went going after it. Yeah, number one. And uh, you know what? That's that's something that they uh, needed to fix. They could have taken it out, but they still have it a f out to a certain extent in Madden 05 as well. Right? Yep. But yeah, they could have taken that out, and uh, if they wanted to have the the defense featured, well. You know, I think I've said it before, but they could have had uh, it set up so that pass receivers actually had to run the majority of their route before they could actually even catch a pass, right? Yeah, because they wouldn't be looking for it otherwise. Yeah. This one is just about in the book. Well, I don't think we need to throw any passes in the, you know, to finish up this game now. I think we could just run the ball three times and then punt. And that would be a really easy thing to uh, implement too, because they have head tracking in these games, so the receivers could just start to head track on the quarterback when uh, they are looking and ready to receive the ball. That could be a visual cue. Yeah, and when they're designing their pass routes, right, in, in the, in the uh, when they're creating the playbooks for this game, all they need to do is they need to designate certain points along the pass route where, okay, I think they were looking for that, where the receiver will not start looking for the ball until he reaches that point in his route. Right. Well, I think this one's in the bag now, Recfi 5X. They aren't even calling timeouts, so... I think this one more run play, and then uh, we'll be able to just run the clock out. This will probably be the last play of the game. Well, it was a good game, and uh, it was a relaxing game against a better quality team than the Lifers. Well, you know what? This game actually was reasonably competitive until... Uh, they started throwing they, all those they started, interceptions. They started throwing all those interceptions, right? Yep. But they didn't really have much choice. They were yeah. running out of time. Yeah, they were starting to run out of time. But you know what? Defensively, I don't think they played bad. Because, let's face it, I, I've, I've scored 27 points on them, but on at least one drive after an interception, I started inside their 30-yard line, yep. right? Like, I had, no, you know, not very much field to go. And, uh, you know, I had a bit of success on the ground. They didn't give up very much passing yardage. <clears throat> That's it. I know I'm belaboring the point, but I have to say, I, I think I like this game. Well, in a way, I like this game better this than Madden 05, just because it, the, the way that uh, uh, defense's play just seems to be more realistic, and uh, it's a little bit more challenging to play against the AI defense in this game. Yep. Just because, they, like I said before, they disguise their coverages, like, like we highlighted that one really weird thing where that safety ran across the field to cover a guy that I thought was going to be wide open. Yep. You know, things like that. They do things that are totally unexpected. And you have to watch yourself. You have to be careful what you do. Or you next thing you know, you're going to get a sack for a big loss or you'll throw an interception or something. Yeah, I passed for 103 yards in this game. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't exactly an offensive blowout. They got more more offensive yardage than we did. The main, but, the main difference was this, right? Yep. 
But it also looks like you had some decent success on the ground today. Yeah. Yeah, I was able to move the ball on the ground a bit. And uh, get some nice uh, time of possession advantage there. And uh, yeah, I did, I did throw for 120 yards and two touchdowns. Completed 65% of my passes, but also most of the passes I was throwing were very short passes. Too, yeah, right? average 4.1 yards per catch. Yeah, because essentially I'm using my, uh, my, my short passing game like a run game as well, right? So the longest pass I completed was 16 yards. <clears throat> and I did get sacked twice for uh, around almost 20 yards, right? So, yeah, 28 carries for 118 yards. So finally got a good uh, a good game for our halfback. And no, no fumbles. Drop, no drop passes. Yeah, no fumbles. But you look at the guys who are catching all the passes, right? Like uh, tight end. Okay, we did throw to Taylor a bit, but then another tight end and a you know like secondary wide receiver and another tight end. You know, all those passes to those tight ends, those are those are all for, generally speaking... Uh, short yardage. Yeah, you know, short yardage, right? You know, like the, the this guy here had an 11.2 average, but he was doing pretty well catching those. I think he's the guy that I hit on the outside with a couple of those short curl passes that he yep. was able to run for some yards afterwards. Yeah, because there just wasn't anybody within 10 yards of him. Yeah. But still, those were still short passes too, right? So, so there we go. And uh, it looks like Hales with two interceptions. Seven tackles for a loss. Only one sack, and it was Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah, Hales of all the people. But, you know, he's a decent <laughs> player. He's just slow. Yeah. Really slow. Well, if he's playing your nickel position there, yep. he seems to he seems to be prospering there because I think he got one or at least one interception in the last game too. Yeah, he's the nickel guy, and he has a catching rating of like sixty. Yeah. Yeah, and you got a defensive back there with four pass knockdowns. Yeah, that's the guy who got hurt. That's why I said that was bad because he's our starter. Yeah. But the thing is, you look at the number of pass knockdowns you had, though, you 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 get a lot, right? Like that's uh, eight eight deflected passes. Yep, and in three interceptions. Yeah. <clears throat> so he was actually he managed a fifty percent passing completion percentage. In spite of the uh, in spite knockdowns of, in and spite the interceptions. Of eight, Eight knockdowns and three interceptions. And he had a long pass of 38 yards. So this guy, they gave the ball to him a bit. But it's just that uh, you had him pretty well contained, and I think that's a good strategy. You started doing that um, in the last game. Is It doesn't matter if you're shifting your, your pass rush to the tight end side, because... That outside linebacker that is your pass rusher is lined up outside the tight end anyway, right? Yep. So unless they leave the tight end in as an extra blocker, he's not really a factor on the pass rush. Yeah, he doesn't really mess, mess it up or anything. But it really helps to improve your run defense a bit if you have, you know, those extra players shifted to that side when, you know, on the tight end side usually. So, considering the number of passes they threw, they actually didn't have that many drops. You know, they threw thir they they threw 36 passes and had six drops. So, that's not that bad. Yeah. A uh, cornerback got a sack on me ha. too. Wow. <laughs> they blitzed a corner on yeah, you. Yeah, they blitzed a corner on me, and they got me there. Dude. See, they only got three pass deflections in this game, though, so I think that some of my adjustments to try and cut down on the number of uh, pass knockdowns seems to have helped. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you definitely have been working on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the idea is that I'm just throwing shorter passes, and uh, 
you know, trying to avoid those onrushing defensive linemen and take them out of the game, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, here we are. We're done. Yet another week, and we are still undefeated, beating the Denver Horses 27-3. to Yep. So, until next time. I'm Rec B5. And I'm Sandman99. Merry Christmas. <laughs>